Social media is often a target because there's great potential in it. You can organize action uh, using a social network, and you can also, as someone who is far removed from political turmoil, uh, you can see what people are doing. They can tell you about it in their own words. Now, there's also danger in social networks because it's a fantastic place for a, an authoritarian regime to find information on a lot of activists all at once, simply by coercing somebody, by uh, torturing them for a password. So there's a lot of potential in social networks, but going forward, there needs to be an awareness that there are plenty of dangers. Last night, the intelligence minister of Iran was talking, and most of what he said was about social networks. They are afraid of social networks because they, they don't give you the possibility to make social networks in real world. But when you make, make them in cyberspace and they have sensible consequences in the real world. So it's, it's very natural that they are afraid of it. Well, one thing we know is that people really like social networks. So they often want to use circumvention in order to reach their favorite social network when it's blocked. And that's, this is often one of the core motivations. So people say, well, I wasn't really accessing a lot of foreign websites, so I don't really care, but they blocked Facebook. So now I really need circumvention to get to Facebook, something like that. Um, so it's often a motivation for people to use circumvention in the first place. You know, it's, it's not the internet, it's not Facebook, it's not Twitter that is overthrowing dictators in the Middle East. But the internet changed the society, globalized the world. And, connect, and this is a, the miracle, miracle of a generation that was supposed before as politically supine, but now toppled at least two dictators in less than two months. So this is the miracle of technology. Of course, the technology is so effective. And if internet was not invented, I think that it didn't happen now. It, will, it, it would have taken much more time to raise this amount of awareness in a country that is full of tension. I don't like to call it a Twitter or Facebook or an online revolution. The leader of the revolution is not Mark Zuckerberg, but he is influential. The, the social network that he has made is very much influential, either for organizing people and also um, raising awareness among people. When the government in Egypt shut down its internet access completely for all ISPs of the country, People used other means to access to the internet, like satellite connection or dial-up connection to uh, other countries, or they even used fax machines to send out information uh, to international media. Social networks like Twitter and Facebook are important tools for uh, a re revolution like uh, the one that happened in Egypt, but they are still just tools. So. I think personally that internet is changing the world, especially in the countries that totalitarian governments are ruling. 